from here, we will head over to our Sounders who were taking part in an historic event here as they became the first MLS team to play in the Club World Cup. They're out in Morocco uh, to play Egyptian side Al Ali SC um, on February 4th. Oop, there we go. Unfortunately, they would fall in that game. Um, oopsie. One to nothing versus Al Ali. Our player of the game is Defender Nuhu with a 7.4 match rating, one chance created, five clearances, two interceptions, and 11 recoveries. It was kind of a tale of two halves in this game. In the first half, Seattle dominated chances. Uh, they had eight shots to one for the Egyptian side of Al Ali. Um, there were a lot of good but not great chances on net. Uh, but that sort of sense of the attack that you had, the pressure you were able to put on your opponent, things were good for the Sounders in that first half. In the second half, they had a nice opportunity in the 50th minute, so just kind of really fresh out of the gate, where young midfielder Josh Atencio was able to get a nice shot off uh, that went off of an uh, Al Ali defender and almost, almost uh, snuck under Egyptian, uh, Egyptian, uh, Al Ali goaltender Muhammad Al Shanawi. Um, but from then on out, it was just kind of, it was a stalemate. You know, nothing going on really until the 87th minute uh, when Muhammad Afsha launched a shot that I, Stefan Fry might have gotten a finger on. Uh, looked like it went off the crossbar. Um, kind of bounced up into the box. Joe Paulo went to head it out and it went right to Afsha who had the volley. And the volley was going to go offline. It was going to go out of bounds. Probably wouldn't have affected the play or they would have hit. It, it might have clipped Alex Rodon a little bit, but Rodon went to stick his foot out to block the shot. It took a weird bounce off of Rodon's leg. Stefan Fry wasn't ready for that bounce, and the goal went in to give Al Ali the lead in the 88th minute, and Seattle wasn't able to do anything in stoppage time, ending their run there. It's unfortunate. Uh, with the way things went. My big thing is the finishing for the Sounders. It's been an issue for them since the second half of the season. Excuse me. But I don't know. I, I would take more positive than negative from that. Again, this is an, a historic experience for the Sounders um, to take part in this event. You know, you've got to respect it no matter what fan uh, of a, what, what team you're a fan of around the MLS. Um and you could have argued, you know, maybe with a little bit of pre more preseason, because again, this team's coming in on on short preseason, uh, short training, that they they maybe could have been better and more clinical, um, and beat this Egyptian side, and they could be playing Real Madrid in a few days, you know. But that's not the case. But again, it's not. I, I wouldn't be mad at this at all. Uh, be sad about it, sure. But considering that you were that you were that close again, eighty seventh minute. Um, but I wouldn't be mad about it. I, w I think that's silly. Um, so this was a topic last week, and it's the same photo, but we do have more of an update on Jao Paulo. So on the first, we found out that Jao Paulo would feature in Seattle's match in the Club World Cup. It's just the number of minutes that will fluctuate for him. He came in in the second half as a substitute um, for Seattle, and it was good to see that. The other news that we got, uh, on the day of the match was that Obed Vargas would not play against Al Ali. So hoping that the injury or, uh, the injury news related to Vargas is not serious, not something long-term that we'll have to worry about. Looking ahead for our Sounders, they will play a preseason friendly against Louisville City FC. Uh, that is to be determined the time and the place. It's uh, it's a preseason match for Seattle before this, it should be their last one before they open the MLS regular season. Uh, but it's also not clear yet whether this match will be open to the public or not. So uh, a lot of questions on that. The only real thing that we know about that match is that it will be taking place on the 18th uh, and who Seattle will be playing again. 